Hi, and welcome back. For those of you that have been following our Razor 1000 build, you know we started building this machine in Moab this year at Rally in the Rocks. We started building it right there on the show floor, and we just found ourselves out of time with uh, you know talking with customers and going out on rides. So now we're going to start finishing up the project here at the, my home shop. As you can see, we've got a lot of parts here, but today we're going to focus on installing the Zebros Racing Suspension Kit. And the reason we're doing this is, as you can see, their uh, control arms have a bend in them, so it helps to give you a little more ground clearance when you're rock climbing. The other thing it does is it moves the front wheel forward two inches, so it helps these large tires when you're turning sideways uh, to keep from interfering in here. It also helps a little bit when you're climbing up a steep hill, puts a little bit of the weight forward. Uh, we think this is going to be a great addition. The other thing we're going to do a little bit later today is install their dual rate spring kit. And we'll talk about that a little bit more when we get to that. So here we go. Well, about an hour has elapsed since we last talked. That's how long it took me and Ben to uh, get one side done. This was our first time. I think it would go faster, but I thought this would be a good time to show you the difference between the Zebros and a factory stock A-arm over there. As you can see, there's going to be quite a bit more clearance. We also did their dual rate spring conversion. You'll see, kind of see some differences at the bottom of the shock down here. Uh, really expecting a lot of gains in the suspension out of this. I also took a little bit of time while I had the shock out to uh, mark the clicker on it with center of the shock so I'll know which way my firm or soft settings are. That's about it. We'll keep telling you more as we uh, continue to put this thing together. Well, we've got the front of the vehicle done. Now we're going to install the Zebros uh, Max Ground Clearance kit on the back. And as you can see, these uh, control arms here, radius arms, are straight and the Zebros is curved. Uh, it's a little tight here, we're tight up against the wall, so it's hard to show you everything, but we'll come back to it when we get her done. And continuing with our uh, build of this Razor 1000, we've got the Zebros uh, high clearance suspension put on the back, and we've left the stock side on so you can see the differences in the two. Obviously, there's a lot more ground clearance. As we move around here, we're going to reposition the camera and then we're going to talk a little bit about the suspension upgrades we've done to this side. Well, I hope you can see, uh, we're shooting all this on an iPhone, that you can see what we've done over here. So we've done the dual rate uh, spring kit from Zebros on here. As I mentioned earlier, we're real excited about it. We installed their adjustable sway bar on here. Uh, we've been running the walker link here on the end of the sway bar and so far I'm very happy with that. So we, we're going to go ahead and try it on the Zebros. As you can see here's their high clearance uh, trailing arm right here which gives you a lot more over stock. We're going to go ahead and move to the other side to show you what the stock side looks like so you can compare the two. Just for comparison here's a look at, uh, at the stock suspension on it. It's hard to probably visualize from just the last take, but here's the stock swing arm, so it sits quite a bit lower. You don't have near the amount of spring uh, rate that you do with the Zebros upgrades. We removed the exhaust, we're getting ready to put the Trinity exhaust system on it, and we thought we'd go ahead and do that while we had access here. And that pretty much sums up what we've been working on, and we're gonna come back when we get the Zebro suspension all up and running and this bad boy sitting on the ground ready for a test drive. Well we've completed the Zebro suspension upgrades on our 2018 uh, Razorback Razor build. I want to do a little bit of a walk around and show you what we've done. We've got the suspension in, we've got the warm winch installed, we've got our Razorback holding front windshield installed, uh, sector 7, LED mirrors with LED uh, lights in them, as you can see here. We got our Razorback rub on it. Ben, if you want to come around. We've got our Razorback lower doors, which we've been prototyping. We've got them installed. We got our uh, radios installed in the inside. We've got our uh, seat belts installed. 
We got our new Razorback uh, 1000 rear window installed. We're pretty proud of this. It's got a nice tray in here so you can store extra stuff and it's all built into the window. We got our uh, Jack Daddy Jack on it. We got our Razorback off-road uh, cargo rack on it. We got our Method wheels and Tenzer tires. And we've also got our new uh, Razorback off-road Rough Rider pet pad. This thing's pretty crazy. It <clears throat> reduces the heat in the back here on your pet or your cooler by 50 degrees. We've done some studies where we're recording some temperatures in here as high as 140, 150 degrees. We put and with the pad in it, it's gonna drop it clear down to 60 to 70 to 80 degrees. It's just pretty crazy uh, what this thing's been able to do for us. Also installed the Trinity exhaust on it and the Razorback, or excuse me, the Zebros Racing uh, high ground clearance arms in the back. Uh, just very happy with how this build went. Also put in the Zebros uh, sway bar on the back and then the locker link, the little shocks on the back. Very thrilled with how this build turned out and really looking forward to going to Rally in the Pines and running it through some paces. Hope you enjoyed this.